Alright, hello everyone, this is Spencer Smith, co-founder of UMP. Today's longly anticipated tutorial is going to be about chroma key, or more widely known as green screen. This tutorial that I have on the screen right now, I took from another tutorial. Um, I'll move it over here. So this is the one I was working with before. Be a lot simpler, being away from all the chaos of the other stuff. And this is what we what we will be working on for the duration of the tutorial. All right, I chose this tutorial because it poses multiple obstacles. The first being, my shirt is green, although it is the same color as the green screen, basically. And we have the multiple backgrounds of their different different variety of colors. All right. And so you basically got the idea of, of this green screen. Now, the first thing you want to do, especially if you have the green, if you have any green in your front ground and in the background, you're going to want to do a color correction. So we're going to go, like I, we, I have this uh, effect, or I show you how to do the uh, color correction in previous tutorials, but yeah, add, click OK, you have it here. So bring the color to uh, how you want it. I'm just going to, you know, pick something real quick, real fast. I don't need to, uh, you know, I'm just showing you how to do it, not how you should do it. Okay, we have it. We have our color corrected clip. Now, what you want to do is copy this clip. So, select your clip, press control, and drag down. Okay. Now when you have both of this, you're going to want to do two separate things to both of these clips. Now, on Vegas, the top clip is on the top. So whatever you do to this, this clip is going to show first and it's going to um, be in the way of the clip on the bottom. Because I have the green shirt, I'm going to go into oops, effects, go in, or yeah, go into video effects and look for cookie cutter. Okay, I have a cookie cutter. Now I'm going to grab the circle cookie cutter and apply it on the top clip. Now you can see it has a ring on Adidas' face. What we're going to want to do is get rid of the circle and take it away from Adonis' face and apply it to the area of interest, which is the green on my shirt. All right, so take border, slide it all the way down, so now we don't have any of the, the white. Actually, we're gonna use a little bit of the white so we can see what our circle, is, so we can align it with everything on my shirt. Okay, see all the green is within our white circle. Now, get rid of the border so we, need to, so we can't see that anymore. So when we go to method, we want to have it on cut away all but section. Okay, now we're going to go to our second clip. We're going to want to apply the chroma key. Here. So go to Sony chroma key, here, click add, and okay. Okay, so here we use the uh, drop effect, hit the green screen. Okay, you've captured the green color screen and now you're gonna mess with your high and low thresholds. Take the high threshold and take it all the way so you can see everything so it looks like it's not being messed with that much. Now take the low threshold and take it until you can see all the green screen is is gone now the cool thing because we did uh, we took the circle to this area right now this is not being messed with because in the top screen we cut away as you remember we cut away everything but what was inside the circle so this is still in the front ground and everything else you see is the secondary bottom clip now you can see this isn't the uh, greatest green screen right now we have a lot of uh, cut 
the rigid marks around my hair and Adonai's head and half of the chair is uh, kind of missing, what you can see here. So we're gonna go to blur amount, kind of fuzz up, fuzz up my hair, <laughs> fuzz up my hair, that sounds kind of funny, and a little bit of the green. Now you can mess around, take a, the thresholds, I took the high threshold, you can see, just mess around with it a little bit and you'll get you'll get it where you want it. Now I'm not going to do anything else with this until I have, oops, until I have my actual clips in the background. So I'm going to take these, just put them in line. I do have pan and crop effects in here and have, and I do have them sliding around in the background. If you want to know how to do that, there's tutorials that we do based on that. So just check out our other videos. Okay, so right now you can see in the fade in, you can see a little bit of the circle here, and you can see a little bit of the circle on the fade out. Now, how do how we fix that? Basically, you have to get you know sorry to say this, but you have to get the fades out, the fade outs on the beginning and at the end in a nice timing. So the beginning clip isn't what you see the most. See, I got rid of it a little bit. And here, do the same thing in the fade out. Just a little, oh, that made it more obvious. See, not as obvious as before, but still, you know, that's, that's pretty much still not acceptable. So what we want to do here is feather. That'll hide the fact that that is fading out. You won't have these solid lines. Okay, try it again. See, barely noticeable, and you still have the effect here. It doesn't mess with that at all. Okay, so that is how you do a green screen. All right, if you have any questions, just leave us some comments. We'll get those answered for you. Uh, you know, keep yourself updated, subscribe, we'll have other Vegas tutorials on YouTube shortly. Alright, hopefully your green screens will be in a tip-top shape. Peace.